Hello and welcome to my Right Cream long form editor tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create some longer blog posts using plenty of the use cases that they have and giving you the steps that you can actually follow along if you like. Now this is a software that I just pick up at the time of creating this. They currently have a special deal on it so I will put a link in the description in case you want to check that out. Keep in mind it won't be around forever so it's just something to keep in mind. Either way let's get started. What we're going to need here Thank you for auto saving my progress. That's very nice of you. But anyway, uh, we're going to need a long form editor and it recommends having some type of like Google doc. This could also be say like a word doc really up to you. But first thing we want to do is we're going to use the use cases. The cool thing about this is that you're pretty much going in order from top to bottom. You don't need a lot of these, but I will talk about that. So under product in brand name, I put YouTube platform. Now keep in mind, this is something that I realized after testing this out. It doesn't necessarily have to be about a specific product because when I did this, I was like, well, how am I going to create an article say about anything related to YouTube marketing? Okay. YouTube platform, I guess you could say is a brand name. It could be a product if you're talking about how they advertise and so on and so forth. But if you wanted to do something related to YouTube, you would just put it in there and then you would get the ideas from there. Okay. So. I put YouTube platform because I want to do one related to YouTube and marketing. And I put YouTube as a platform where people can upload videos for others to watch, like and overall engage with. Just a very simple description. We have our tone, which I'm just going to use casual for the most of this just to keep our lives easy. Then I'm going to click on write for me and let's see what we get. And in case you were wondering, that was pretty much instant. Like I didn't have to wait uh, many seconds for that, which is always good. So five tips for creating a video to engage on YouTube, YouTube marketing, six ways to encourage engagement, how to make your first YouTube video, a blog that includes the steps to make your first YouTube video. That one's pretty good. 10 ways to get more views, three ways to engage with brands, how to promote your YouTube channel. I like this one. So it's going to be for beginners. So what I want to do is copy this. Okay, it's control C is a way of copying and we're going to do control V. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much what we're going to be working with here. Now, keep in mind, if you wanted to use your own, you can do that. You just have to use pretty much this formula or setup that we're showing right here. So this is going to be the blog title and then we're going to have our colon here and then it's going to be a little bit description. So it should look something like this title and description. Okay. If you want to use your own, that's pretty much how it would be. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. Let's go back over here. Now what we want to do is go here and go to blog intro. Okay. So once again, we have our YouTube platform, our blog topic. Now that we actually have a better one, what we're going to want to do is replace this. Okay. So let's highlight all this. We can delete it and paste in what we had previously. Okay. Once again, it's going to be casual. Let's click on write for me and see what we get. Okay, so the process of creating a YouTube video can be simple, but there are some steps that you need to be taken to make sure your viewers are entertained and interested in what you have to show them. This will walk you through the different steps. Let's look at the second one. A lot of people are looking to create their own YouTube channel, but they don't know where to start. It's an amazing platform and offers so many opportunities for individuals who want to build a fan base. Uh, it's popular. This will show you how to get started with your first YouTube video. Overall, they're very similar. Overall, I would like this one, I would say. I'm going to copy this. So this is going to be our intro. We have that. Let's go back over here. Now we're just moving on down. Okay. So we had our intro. Now we have our outline. And the cool thing about this is that we don't need to change everything. So as you see, there's going to be a few more steps, I guess you could say. But the cool thing is that once you kind of have your product name, your description, and you get your topic, you can utilize that to create a lot of content. So let's click on the right for me for our outline. And just like that, almost instantaneously, we have our outline here. So what are the steps to making your first YouTube video? What content should you use for your first video? What should you include in your first video? We have how to make your first YouTube video, how to make it look professional. Uh, what's the first step? What is the video? I think this one looks good right here. Okay, let's copy this. For me, it's control C, depending on what type of computer you're using. Okay, and these are going to be our sub headlines pretty much. So I'm just going to hit enter a few times. That's our conclusion. Give me a second. I'm just going to delete these numbers. Yeah, so now comes the actual paragraphs in the section. So what we want to do, we're going to go through all these. I probably won't do all of them on the video because it's just repetitive, but we're going to copy the first one here. And what we're going to do is going to go back over here and we're going to go to blog heading expand. When you go here, you want to keep your product and brand name the same. You want to keep your blog topic the same. This is where these sections going to go in that we just copied. Okay, so that's going to go right there. And if we scroll down here, when we click on right for me, we're going to have it appear at the bottom. So let's do that and see what we get. 
Once again, that was very quick. I like the speed of this software. I've noticed that like this is a good amount of content and I literally had to wait maybe two seconds, one and a half seconds. It was very quick. So that's good. So this one's a little shorter. I'm going to skip that. The steps to making your first YouTube video are easy, but you have to know what you want to make and where you want to share it. If you have a video that you want to share, you want to start by doing your research. If sharing a video on a topic that you are passionate about, it'll be easy for you to keep the video interesting and entertaining. You want to upload your video and then you'll want to point it towards a specific audience. Pretty good overall. Everyone has a story to tell, being creative, just really skimming through these. This one wasn't too bad. I'm going to go with this. And this is the steps. Okay, so and put that there. I'm just going to make this bold so we know that it's a uh, subheadline. And I'll do the same thing with this. We could always capitalize all of that. We could also remove that or change around our title. I'm more, you know, focused on the actual content of this, okay? What content should you use for your first YouTube video? And keep in mind that if you don't like the way this is worded, you can always change this around personally, or you could delete it. You don't have to use the exact outlines. Uh, that's something I talk about when it comes to any type of software, regardless of what it gives you. Like it's going to give you a lot of great ideas. Maybe one idea isn't as great. You could always change it around, delete it, or take it out. Okay. So this is the steps. Uh, what content should you include, which is kind of similar, like what should you include in your first YouTube video? So we could always change that around, but I'm going to go with this one. Let's copy it. And once again, now all we need to do is change around the section heading. Let's do right for me. Okay, it can be hard to figure out what content you should use for your first YouTube video. There are plenty of tips and tricks that you should keep in mind when planning your first YouTube video. It's important to think about how you want to start your channel. The best thing to do is find a topic that interests you and then create a video about that topic. Your first YouTube video should be about a topic that you can talk about for a long time. If you're going to make your first YouTube video about something that is short-lived, you might as well just start with a blog post. It's important to think about what your video is going to be before you start recording. It's also important to think about how you want your video to look and sound. Okay, not bad. I don't know if it talks more specifically about the content, but more in general, like content that you like. So I'd say it's related. Maybe it could be a little bit better, but it does kind of give what we're asking for. Uh, I don't want to read through all these because it's going to take, you know, much longer, kind of giving you the idea here. And let's put that right here. And of course, this one was very similar. So I'm just going to delete that since we have something similar to that. Like I said, you can always add more subheadlines yourself. What is the best way to get content for your first YouTube video? That's a good one. People usually want to know that. Once again, let's remove the subheadline and let's do the next one. This is going to go here. Let's click right for me. And this is, should be very quick. Like I'm going to talk through it. As you can see, that was like, what, two seconds maybe? And that's a lot of content. That's pretty good. It's easy to think with so many different ways to make videos. There's no way to plan out your first video. However, the first thing you want to do is figure out what the best way to get content for your first YouTube video. What content do you want to make your first YouTube video about? This is one of the most important decisions, blah, blah, blah. I think that's a little bit repetitive. Like it'd be nice if it got straighter to the point there. For example, if you have an idea about a video about a recipe, you can't just make a video about that recipe. You need to find the recipe with the right ingredients and so on and so forth. What other type of content can you make for your first video? For example, if you have a YouTube channel about your favorite sports team, you can make a video about the team's upcoming game. Okay, so that was a little bit better towards the end. Also got cut off there. I think that was just a little too repetitive in the beginning instead of getting right into it. Maybe that's just my style. Like when I do YouTube videos, I usually like getting right to the point. I don't want to take two minutes talking about how beautiful it is outside and so on and so forth. Uh, anyway, let's look at another one. It's a popular destination for video content. Uh, you can use YouTube to share your message and so on and so forth. You can start with a video that gives an introduction to your company, then upload content that relates to your company. If you want to share your message with your audience, start with a video that has a call to action where you are asking your viewers to take a specific action. You can also create a video that is a tutorial on how to use your pro product or service. The first step to making a YouTube video is to make sure that you have a clear idea of what your content should look like. So that's actually a little bit better when it talks about speaking to your specific audience, having a call to action, and of course, maybe a tutorial on a product or service just like this. Okay. I'm just going to use this one for the example. We can bold that. And of course we have the conclusion, like that's just there. But what we can do is go back to conclusion here just to show you. Okay. Block conclusion. So you're pretty much going in order. I know there's a lot of steps and I'm like, what, that's the first thing I thought. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of steps when it comes to this, but at least you're just going straight down the line. So we have our YouTube platform. We have our blog topic. We actually don't need to change anything. Let's just click on right for me. 
And as always, that came up very quickly. We hope you enjoyed our blog post about how to make your first YouTube video. Creating an amazing video will take some time, but it is worth it. Keep in mind that YouTube is a platform that allows people to share videos, so you always have the potential to reach more viewers. I'm reading this one in case you didn't know. If you find yourself interested in it, visit our website at blah, 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 or maybe sign up for our lead magnet, get on our newsletter, whatever it's going to be. Uh, not bad. Let's go with that one. I'm going to copy that. And obviously what you can do is edit that around or you can learning more, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel here, something like that and link there. Okay. So just going over that, that's just an example of how you can use their long form editor. If you wanted to write more, the main steps are going to be, you know, picking your sub headlines, even if they only give you three or four, like you can add more to that. So this is about making your first YouTube video just off the top of my head. You can talk about things that you might need, technology that you might want, maybe getting a product so you can follow along someone's steps or getting coaching. Uh, maybe you're going to need a screen recording type of aspect or tool or software. There's a lot more you could talk about. And that's how you would really expand upon this. So anytime you do want to expand upon something, whenever you have your sub headline, you go here, you go to the blog heading expand, and that's you would paste that in there. And then of course, right for me, and that's where you get some new content. But either way, that kind of wraps up the right cream long form editor tutorial. Hope you got some value out of this, at least the steps that you can follow so that you can actually replicate this self for the specific blog post or article that you want to write. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check out that special deal. It is currently going on while I'm creating this video, but it won't be around forever, given the fact it's on app soon and those don't stick around for a long time. Either way, thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.